Hello everyone, this is the Sammy Classic Sonic Fan, and I am back for another video for all of you. So, um, yeah, it, we've gotten some big news for Sonic the Hedgehog, um, just in the past day, and that is the announcement, or, or not announcement, it's already been announced, but, um, the first trailer for the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which is going to be called Sonic 2, and a trailer for Sonic Frontiers. So, I'm going to be talking about that in this video. So, a lot of big things happened in the new trailer. We knew Tails was going to be in it. That was kind of obvious if you watched the last movie and the post credits scene. Obviously, Tails is going to be in it. And we knew Knuckles was going to be in it because his voice actor was announced a while back. But I've been curious up to this point as to how these characters would be portrayed. Because it's one thing if the characters are in the movie, but they aren't really an adequate representation of how they are in the games. And another thing if they, in fact, are an adequate representation, a good representation of how those characters should be. And dude, let me just say, this, this movie really lives up to the name Sonic 2. I, as in based on what I've seen for the trailer, because, you know, Sonic 2 was one of the most definitive game. It's one of the most definitive games in the entire Sonic series. That was the game that introduced Tails. That was the game that introduced Super Sonic and um, having all seven Chaos Emeralds, not just six Chaos Emeralds. And that was the game that gave us, like, all the abilities Sonic is known for. Of course, Knuckles wasn't in Sonic 2, but I still think he's very much a welcome addition in the Sonic 2 movie, because whereas the Sonic, the um, first Sonic movie, as in the one in 2020, was just, you know, Sonic and Eggman and the human character, Tom, Almost like how Sonic 1 was just, you know, Sonic and Eggman, Robotnik, as he was originally called. Well, actually, no, in Japan he's always been called Eggman. But anyways, yeah, it's only natural to have Knuckles in this because in, in the original Sonic the Hedgehog trilogy for the Sega Genesis, Sonic 2 led directly into Sonic 3 and Knuckles, as in the story of Sonic 2 um, went directly into Sonic 3 and Knuckles. That's, that was, that's what was happening in the opening cutscene of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It was basically exactly where Sonic 2 left off at the ending of the game. Not just that, but the original Sonic um, trilogy as the whole, a as a whole, is considered one big story. It's referred to as the Death Egg Saga. As for whether we'll be seeing the Death Egg in this movie, I really hope so, because this movie is setting up a lot of things. It's setting up... I mean, we saw the Mes Master Emerald, so it's probably setting up the Chaos Emerald as well, because they're directly linked. They're from the same um, power source and everything. And of course, as I've already said, Tails is going to be in it, Knuckles is going to be in it. We don't know if like characters such as Metal Sonic are are going to are going to be in it. I I I doubt Shadow will be in it. Maybe Amy, Amy Rose could uh, possibly be in it. I, I'm really not sure. I, I guess it depends on like whether they sort of like go outside of the dimension that. Sonic has been residing in since, you know, his late childhood after he was forced to leave his home dimension. So I guess if uh, Sonic and Tails find a way to travel into different dimensions, like finding more rings, or possibly even if 
like the Chaos Emeralds can get them into those other dimensions, we, we might see more characters. But I don't know how they're gonna fit, like, for instance, Shadow in, in, into this movie. I feel like, uh, you know, that needs to be, like, its own story. Really, I think they could find a way, like, in the third Sonic movie to, like, sort of combine the stories of Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2 in a way, sort of like how Sonic X did. But we'll see, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, if there will even be a third Sonic movie. I'm fairly confident there will be, just based on how successful the first one did and how much attention the second one is already receiving right now. Anyways, yes, Death Egg. Hope to see that. Like, they should they should have, like, the Death Egg robot or some, like, movie counterpart to that um, be the final boss. Uh, just something that would be, you know, formidable enough to make Super Sonic necessary. I mean, I mean, we... Uh, just the fact that a lot of people want to see Super Sonic already kind of makes it necessary, but... It really depends on the plot, you know? Like, I don't want it to be forced, of course. Speaking of the plot, let's talk about that. Let's talk about how Sonic's uh, character arc seems to be in this movie. I really liked his character arc in the previous movie. I, I, I think I've talked about it in um, my review of the movie, but... You know, I like how Sonic isn't already just, like, a developed character. He is developing. He is still, you know, supposed to be, like, a teenager, an adolescent. And I think um, that movie did a good job of showing that to us and how he, like, has an adult role model who was Tom and how Sonic wants to grow to become a hero. And Sonic 2 is expanding on that in a way that feels natural. Sonic sort of taking up the mantle of being, like, a superhero in a similar way to, like, Spider-Man or something. I, I like that. I, I, I really do like that. You know, he's still inexperienced. We saw him sort of having a pep talk with Tom about, like, how, you know, Sonic's still a kid. He still doesn't really know about all the responsibilities that come with being a hero. Because if you remember in the previous movie, he kind of just spent like many years sort of hiding from people, you know, just observing. Like he wasn't really going out of his way to be seen because he was afraid of being seen. He wasn't like beating criminals yet. Like it, that, we're, we're just now getting that. Um, version of Sonic, who's, like, closer to how he is in the games. Also, I want to talk about Tails and Knuckles and, and how they compare to their game counterparts. Personally, I'm- I feel like this movie, just based on what I've seen so far, is already doing these two characters more justice than really any Sonic game has since Sonic Mania or Sonic Heroes. I mean, Sonic, I, I mentioned Sonic Mania because it's kind of an outlier in a sense, you know? It's a game that's meant to be like the old games. It was, it, it's, yeah, it still had Sonic Team's involvement, but it was mostly a different studio. It was mostly um, Christian Whitehead's studio. And Christian Whitehead, um, otherwise known as Taxman, he was, Originally just a Sonic fan who decided to make like his own indie games and uh, fan games. So <laughs> that really says a lot about like um, Sonic Team currently. I, I, I've talked about uh, like Sonic Forces plenty already as well as like, um, you know, a bunch of other Sonic games from like the past decade or so. But, but I, dig I digress. I really like how this movie is shaping up. I really do. I'm 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 being honest. I like how you have more of, you know, Sonic going on actual ventures and it's Sonic and Tails. It's like this is how it should be. 
Uh, it, it's Sonic and Tails riding on the on the uh, tornado plane, and presumably you're going to have a Tails who is a competent sidekick. You know, like you have a Tails who's more self-sufficient. One thing I dislike about how Tails has been portrayed in the more recent Sonic games as they is that they portray him as either a coward or just not able to hold his own against enemies in the same way Sonic can, which is completely contrary to the character development he went through in some games like Sonic Adventure. And it, yeah, even looking a bit further past that, it's still kind of hard to have Tails without Sonic, but I feel like up until games like Sonic 06 and Sonic Colors, Tails was definitely a much more likable character. You, he wasn't just Sonic's assistant. He could fly, he's nearly as fast as Sonic, he's really smart, and I get the impression from the Sonic 2 movie that Tails will have a very major role to play, and I like how this movie seems to be just as much about Tails as it is Sonic. Or at least almost as much about him as it is Sonic. And as for Knuckles, he looks so awesome when he's just tanking Sonic in his spin dash. And you see Knuckles having the same electricity that Sonic has, but it's red. That is so cool! This is the Knuckles I want to see. Why isn't he this cool in the games anymore? Like, in the, in the modern Sonic games, he's a complete joke. In Sonic 3, he was cool. In Sonic Adventure, in Sonic Adventure 2, he was cool. In Sonic Heroes, he was cool. In Sonic 06, he was just meh, whatever, he was just there. And then Sonic Generations is really where I feel like his character took a nosedive. Yeah, you could argue that ever since Sonic Adventure 2, he sort of, like, went downhill, just being overshadowed by, like, Shadow and, I guess, other characters who are supposed to rival Sonic, even though Knuckles it was Sonic's original rival, besides Metal Sonic. So I really like how in Sonic 2, Knuckles is being depicted as Sonic's equal, because that's how it should, that's how it should be. He's not quite as fast as Sonic, but he is stronger than Sonic. That is a fact. And Knuckles is not dumb. Like, Sonic Generations and Sonic Boom and Sonic Lost World try to make Knuckles look like a dumb character. Like, he's not smart at all. Think about, just think about how that's a complete disservice to his character. Think about his backstory. He has the wisdom of countless generations of echidnas passed down onto him. He's the guardian of the Master Emerald. Sure, he doesn't actually guard it half the time. But it takes some shrewdness in order to be able to do that. He's not all just muscle. The only reason he got tricked into working for Eggman in Sonic 3 and Sonic Adventure is because... Eggman is manipulative and Knuckles is impulsive, but n that's not the same thing as being dumb. Being dumb and being impulsive are two completely different things, so... Knuckles being, like, portrayed as dumb in the new Sonic games, that's just lousy writing. It- it- the writing has been bad for years now, guys, so... It's not like Knuckles' character is the only thing that has been regressed, but... And, and and they kind of tried to make up for in Sonic Forces by, like, making him the quote-unquote captain. But that's almost like Gohan being the captain in the Tournament of Power. Like, it doesn't mean anything. Like, he didn't do anything in Sonic Forces. So I'm just happy to see Knuckles being given the appreciation that he deserves. That he's being portrayed as strong and intimidating and serious, not just goofy. I love that, and I think we will be getting some serious moments in this movie. Not just from Knuckles, 
and being tricked by Eggman because inevitably he'll realize that he's been deceived and he'll want to fight alongside ha uh, Sonic. I mean, yeah, that's what happened in the game, so it's probably going to happen here. But I think we'll be seeing some serious moments from Sonic because if you remember in the previous movie, Sonic's, um, I guess you could say adoptive mother, Longclaw, um, was being hunted down because the Echidna clan essentially wanted Sonic's powers. And I don't know if Knuckles knows anything about that, if he's associated with them. I assume that he is, but you could hear him utter the words that he needs Sonic's power. And that could be since he's working with Eggman, or it could be that he has some ulterior motives of his own. As in, he's from the same Echidna tribe that was hunting down Sonic in the past. So, the fight between Sonic and Knuckles will definitely be a more personal one. I'm sure it'll be more emotional for Sonic, because there were parts in the previous movie where, like, Sonic would get, like, emotional at times, but it felt just a bit uncalled for, you know? it. Like, for instance, when he was getting mad at Tom for wanting to be a cop in the big city in Los Angeles. And Sonic was, like, upset that he didn't want to be a cop in Green Hill for the rest of his life. And to me, that was just uncalled for, like, why are you getting so angry? So I'm sure in Sonic 2 we'll get be getting maybe more stuff like that, but it'll feel more... Or I should say, it'll feel less forced, you know? It'll feel more justified, like, because that's understandable with Knuckles possibly being from the same tribe that separated him from Longclaw, was trying to steal his powers, and might have even been responsible for Longclaw's demise. We don't know if he actually died, but in an... In a deleted scene, she did die, so that, uh, that may be the case. But, anywho, the long and short of it is, I am definitely looking forward to this movie. Paramount has definitely exceeded all expectations with the Sonic movie so far. Because I feel like besides Sonic Mania, this is possibly the best thing to come out of the Sonic series since... I would say Sonic Generations. Because if you think about it, since Sonic Generations, Sonic-related content has been a lot more sparse if you're disregarding, like, Sonic Boom, the cartoon in the games, I mean. Which, there were mixed opinions on the show. In fact, I would say when it came to Sonic Boom, feedback was a lot more on the positive side. But as for the games, definitely skewed more towards the negative, which, I, I mean, I, I can't really blame them. I, I abhor Lies of, Rise of Lyric. Um, I never played Shattered Crystal. I have Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. It's an okay game, I guess. It, it's not bad, but the damage had already been done by Rise of Lyric by that point, so it didn't really matter much. <laughs> and then you have Lost World and Sonic Forces, but it's too few and far between, and yeah, you could say, like, okay, well, since when does uh, quantity matter over quality? And I completely agree with that philosophy, except for the fact that the quality just hasn't really been up to par. Aside from Sonic Mania, which, as I said, was pretty much an outlier. Like, yeah, it just has been sort of hard to maintain interest in the Sonic series. It's been hard to continue being a fan of the series in the sense of, like, looking forward to whatever Sega is working on. Obviously, I'm never going to stop liking the Sonic games from days of old. 
the games that I grew up with, the games that I will always have that personal um, attachment to. But these movies have definitely brought new life into the series, for better or for worse. I would say for better, I mean, of course, initially, like with Sonic 2020, it, it had, you know, the bad um, original design that were you, they were using, but um, they listened to all the f feedback they were getting, and they took some extra time to fix it and give us the design that we have now. And it's a really good design. I definitely underestimated how much they would be able to um, tweak the former design and make it into something else. So they, they definitely went above and beyond when it came to that. But also, it was just really enjoyable to watch. And knowing that there would be a sequel, which, of course, we know a lot more about now, and we're going to get it in April of next year. Yeah, it's it's definitely a good time to be a Sonic fan. This is definitely something that is keeping my interest in the series peaked. But anyways, let me know what you think of this movie in the comments. In the trailer, I mean. Because it's still kind of too early to say how the movie as a whole is going to be, but I I have a good feeling about it. All right, everyone. So for this part of the video, I wanted to interview my um, best friend, Nelson, because um, while he doesn't have as much of an emotional attachment to the Sonic series as I do, um, I still think I still thought it would be good to get his opinion on it um, just to have uh, or just to see what a more casual movie goer would think. So, um and uh he he's actually um watched the uh sonic movie from 2020 twice and um from what i understand he enjoyed it so um yeah basically what i'm wondering is um what do you think of the trailer for the upcoming sonic 2 movie um do you think that this movie will be better um than the previous film or will it be um about like uh the same level of quality or worse um what what are your thoughts all right well first of all thank you for having me on here again sammy it's no always problem. a pleasure to be here yeah uh secondly i wouldn't really consider myself like as a casual movie goer i barely go to the movies uh <laughs> as of now but if like if something really catches my interest i'll probably make an effort to go see it like uh i know jackass forever is coming out this year after being delayed a bunch of times so right, i might go right. see that sometime uh before sonic but uh as yeah, for I sonic meant, I, what i meant was like a more i guess just a more casual fan in general like a more casual sonic fan not like a hardcore sonic fan like i am but anyways, right go on okay. yeah but as for sonic um I did like the movie twice, like you said, uh, after watching it twice. Uh, the first time you watched with me, actually, and um, yeah. a bunch of my friends, so that, that was cool. Yeah, that was that was fun. Yeah. And the second time I saw it again on Paramount Plus during Thanksgiving. And, uh, yeah, after watching the trailer last night, uh, it seems like it's going to be a bit better than the uh, first one. Uh, especially with the addition of both Tails and Knuckles. Uh, I know it's mm -hmm. fan service to have uh, the uh, voice of Tails from Sonic Colors. I don't know much about that uh, game. Oh, I haven't yeah, of course. played a lot of the Sonic yeah. games, so I guess that's a big deal. And to have Idris Elba on there, uh, at first when he was announced, I was a little disappointed because I was hoping that someone like Terry Crews would be the voice of Knuckles. But after hearing him in the trailer, I'm like, nah, Terry Crews couldn't pull this off. And obviously, Jim Carrey is going to pull out all the stops. And it feels like this is definitely fan service with having the iconic plane from Sonic 2, Tails and Sonic on the plane. 
you got the storm, you've got uh, the um, Chaos Emeralds, uh, Eggman looks like how he's supposed to in the games now. It's it's going to be epic. It's Even if you're not a Sonic fan, I think you would have some enjoyment watching this. Yes, I, I agree. Yeah, like, um, yeah, so, so you, you kind of know what you're talking about. Um, and, well, I, I think, I think that's, uh, partially helped by, um, we, we actually, uh, rehearsed a bit before this, but, um, yeah, um, I, and I agree. I, um, I think this movie will be better than, um, the previous one, just for the simple fact that it is taking more from the source material, like it, it, like you said, with the Master Emerald, um, Eggman being closer to his game counterparts, um, and and also, you know, you 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 mentioned uh, Jim Carrey's performance. Um, yeah, he's. I I think um, I I think uh, the egg, the Eggman moments in this movie might be even better because I I feel like. Um, you know, in the previous movie, he did a really good job in that, but I, it almost feels like, you know, he carried the movie in a way, like, like, you know, a lot <laughs> of the people went, uh, to see it just for Jim Carrey, but, um, no you pun know, intended, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you, you know, uh, with, with, uh, this one, you know, it's, there, there's going to be something for everyone. And you could say that about, um, you know, the previous one too, but, um, this one even more so. Um, but uh, yeah, I I think um, you know, like I I don't think this movie is going to be too reliant on Jim Carrey's uh, performance. It's going to be just just the right amount, I guess, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, yeah, like like everything would I uh, everything I just said, um, tails and knuckles, um, uh, the way they're being portrayed. I I like the uh, you know, the way they're being betrayed, um, uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, Colleen voicing Tails, that's a really good thing, we already knew, we already knew that, we, we saw that coming because of Tails, um, cameo in, uh, you know, the previous movie at, at the very, very end, of course, post-credits, but, um, yeah, it's, it's great, uh, to, you know, have that confirmation that she will, in fact, be voicing Tails in the, um, second one, and, yeah, Knuckles, um, voice actor is, it, for, for, just based on what I, I saw in the trailer, he, he definitely did a good job, they definitely picked a good voice for Knuckles, um, I, I would say I even like, uh, that voice actor better than, um, the current voice actor in the video games, um, that, that, that's just me, though. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure there might be some people who disagree, but, um, uh, anyways, um, yeah, and I, 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 yeah, like, like you said, I do think in this movie, it might be a little bit too early to tell, but I think it will be an improvement over the previous one. It, the previous one, in some ways, it felt a little bit generic, almost like, a version of Hop with, uh, you know, j just with Sonic, or, or almost, almost even maybe, uh, comparable to, like, Alvin the Chipmunks, or, um, oh, God. definitely a lot more <laughs> tolerable than, than those movies, like, like, I, I liked those movies as a kid, but I can't, I can't tolerate that crap now, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, just the premise of, like, having a fictional character being in the real world, um, I don't think this next movie will be as, like, contingent on that. You know, they're taking more from the games, and you have more of Sonic and Tails going on adventures, and, it, you know, like you said, being a bit more fan service-y, being a bit more of, like, a video game-esque movie. So, I like that. I like that. Um, yeah, I would definitely say that it's... Uh probably outdoing uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. As far as we know, I don't know if there's going to be a sequel to that, though, but... I if, think there um, is. I don't know when don't it's know. coming. Uh, maybe after the Mario movie, um, which that's a whole nother discussion, of course. <laughs> yeah, um, this will probably be better than whatever the Mario movie is going to be. I agree, quite, fr quite 
frankly. Yeah. Um, that... Keep your expectations low, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I don't want to be too harsh on that since we haven't seen any any uh, trailer for it yet. But um, yeah, I I I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I, I'm keeping my expectations low, like you said. But um, right. uh, but anyways, my only complaint with uh, what do you call it? The trailer is, um, or I actually have two of them. Uh, Go ahead. The yeah. lack of Gangsta's Paradise or any classic <laughs> hip hop song. Like in the first one, which is abominable. I'm kidding because that was <laughs> hilarious to me, and uh, I don't know that that was just a weird choice of song, and just it kind of fell out of place. And now, agreed, it's a meme. But I know Coolio <laughs> At is. At least we can look back enjoying, on it and laugh. <laughs> yeah, Coolio is definitely enjoying those residual checks for the use of that song. And my other complaint would have to be the fact that. I doubt that you're going to be in this one. Paramount should have called you up and made you make a Stan Lee cameo because who better a Sonic fan should be in this? They're not going to have Chris Chan on there because he's in jail and it would be a <laughs> sin to have him in there in the first place. Yeah, well, um, you know, you never know. Like, uh, maybe they are actually going to have me uh, cameo in this movie and i just keeping it under wraps. Got, got it gotta keep it classified you know uh, kind of like um uh andrew garfield and toby mcguire with that um <laughs> spider-man no way home uh, kind of like that in a way yeah, i'm kidding I'm, I'm not gonna be in it unfortunately but, i was about um, to say you're spider-man <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know maybe in the third one there there's gotta yeah. be a third one right i mean yeah you know, that... fingers crossed for three yeah you're, you're not yeah. that hard to read because I mean, there's no way and, they can fit like sh uh, Shadow into this movie. That that like, or maybe they can. Who knows? Um, but uh, um, I'm thinking they're gonna save that for the next one and possibly other characters too. Um, I don't know if yeah, Metal, like even Metal Sonic. Sonic's gonna be in this um, upcoming movie. Uh, I I hope he is. I or at least like at least in the cliffhanger for the next one. Um, what about uh, Silver? I doubt they would put silver. In, they'll be putting the silver in this movie. Um, uh, silver is honestly kind of um, a character who's, uh, I would say, overlooked by Sega just because of um, the negative reputation of Sonic 06. But um, right, yeah. I had one more question for you. Um, one more question, and all right, that question is. Oh, uh, before I move on to that, uh, Big Big the Cat needs to be in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be so freaking hilarious. Anyways, one or last lyric, or, Yeah, or Lyric, or just to... Uh, lyric? If, if, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just to do, like, we see you, we see you. Or just to... Uh, what do you call it? That'll piss Since off obviously some there's, fans for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, to kind of piss off uh, Chris Chan if he ever gets out and he happens to see this, just put a bandana on him. Sonic's <laughs> arms are already blue, and just kind of like have him put on a bandana and be like, "Time to eat some pickles" or something <laughs> like that. That would be hilarious. <laughs> or at the very least, he could uh, like make yeah, he could like s sort of throw shade at at that whole situation by like. Uh, bringing up his blue arms, like, 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 what, what's wrong with me having blue arms or something? I, I don't know. <laughs> that would be, that yeah, would it's be not cool. like you're gonna get maced at GameStop. <laughs> 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 okay. Um. Yeah. Here's my last question for you, though. Um. And All that right. is, it is this movie in your top five, um, uh, movies that you're looking forward to next year? Well, I'm not really looking forward to a lot of movies next year. Like I said, I, I barely go to the movies. Uh, it's definitely going to be up there with Jackass Forever. And that comes out in February. Nice. So definitely, yeah. if we ever hang out again around that time, we're going to go see it together. You, me, and uh, our other friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you talking about Jackass Forever or are you talking about uh, Sonic? <laughs> Uh, Sonic. Uh, yeah, that would make more sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't. Yeah, yeah I, I doubt that. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, I, I don't mean, think I might be other interested in checking movies. out um, Jackass sometime. Uh, I just realized this is the first time I've cussed in a video. <laughs> You've heard it here first, first folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, for me, this is definitely up there with like some other movies like Dragon Ball Super, Superhero, and... Um, uh, I forgot and, about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Well, that, that movie is going to be um, definitely... Um, you know, kind of different with like the way it's being animated and everything, but I'm still looking forward to that. Um, and uh, what, what else? Um, I guess whatever Marvel movies are coming out with next year, I'll, I'll have to look at their little MCU Phase Four timeline again. But um, oh yeah, I think Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness is coming out next year. So, um, but uh, anyways, um, I I think that's good. Uh, thanks for coming on here, Nelson. Yeah, thanks for having me. Anytime. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so it turns out this video is much longer than I thought it would be, so I'm going to have to split it up into two parts. Um, with this one being, of course, about uh, Sonic 2, and the next uh, part uh, being about Sonic Frontiers. So be on the lookout for that. I promise you won't have to wait eight months for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy like hearing my thoughts and my um, friends' thoughts, and um, you know, I I hope that was worthwhile. And um, yeah, uh, peace out. This has been the Sammy Classic Sonic. Game.